Hey Myrmico team, today we're diving into the world of a small but incredibly tough species, a true survivor in the ant kingdom, Tetramorium cispitum. If you've ever seen tiny ants running between pavement cracks or swarming a crumb left on the sidewalk, chances are you've already met them. They're everywhere, they're resilient, and most importantly, they're fierce. In terms of size, we're talking tiny, but don't let that fool you. This species makes up for it with sheer numbers and aggression. Workers measure between 2.3 and 3.5 millimeters, while the queen reaches 7 to 8 millimeters. Small bodies, but a colony that more than makes up for it. Tetramorium cispitum is the ultimate survivor. It thrives anywhere as long as there's warmth. Meadows, forest edges, wastelands, and especially, uh, our cities. It invades sidewalks, parks, and gardens, often nesting under stones or between cracks in pavement. Sometimes they even leave a tiny dirt mound at the entrance of their nest just to make their presence known. Speaking of nests, this species is a ground dweller. They dig deep into soil, under rocks, and even inside decaying wood. And their population size? Insane. Colonies usually contain several thousand workers, but in good conditions they can exceed 10,000 individuals. But what's really fascinating is their territorial behavior. No mercy for rival colonies. If two nests are too close, it's all out war. Massive battles break out, with hundreds of workers clashing for dominance. They can also fall victim to parasites like Tetramoria matraculum or Strongylognathus, sneaky species that infiltrate their colonies and lay eggs in secret. Now let's talk diet. These ants are true scavengers. They love insect corpses and have a special relationship with root aphids, milking them for sweet honeydew. Occasionally, they'll even collect seeds, but their diet mainly revolves around protein and sugar-rich foods. Reproduction? Their nuptial flights take place between June and August, usually at dawn, before the heat of the day kicks in. Other related species, like Tetramorium impurum, can swarm later in the season, and in captivity, independent and claustral foundation, the queen digs a small chamber, lays her eggs, and raises the first workers all on her own. As for colony organization, this species is monogenous, meaning one queen per colony. However, some closely related species, like Tetramorium alpestri, can be polygynous, meaning multiple queens share the nest. Now let's talk about their life cycle. These ants follow an exogenous heterodynamic rhythm, meaning their activity slows down in winter as temperatures drop. And that brings us to a crucial point for captive care, diapause. If you want your colony to thrive long term, you need to let them hibernate. Three and a half months from November to March at temperatures between 4 and 12 degrees Celsius, depending on their geographic origin. No diapause, your queen will burn out and the colony will collapse, so don't skip this step. Now how do we keep them in captivity? Super easy. Ideal temperature? 21 to 28 degrees Celsius. Humidity? Keep 30 to 60 percent of the nest slightly moistened. Setting up their habitat is simple, but be warned. This species is a digger. If they don't have enough space, or if the materials are too soft, they'll start tunneling their own way out, leading to escapes. So make sure your nest is secure. Feeding in captivity? They need a variety of sugary liquids, pseudo-honey, fruits, beetle jelly, and most importantly, freshly killed insects. Without protein, their colony won't grow properly. And finally, the big question, is this an easy species to keep? Yes! This is an amazing species for beginners hardy, adaptable, and low maintenance. It tolerates minor mistakes and grows well even with minimal experience. But don't underestimate how quickly it can become overwhelming. As the colony expands, you'll need to manage escapes and population surges. So there you have it, Tetramorium cispitum, a tough, aggressive, and incredibly resilient species. A true tiny tank of the ant world. Have you ever spotted them in your area? Let me know in the comments if you're keeping a colony or thinking about starting one. And as always, subscribe for more amazing ant-related content and drop a like if you enjoyed this video. See you next time, my Armeco team.